Are you tired of watching boring old press releases? Then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. You're going to have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Bryson Goodwin, the CEO of ACDC, Extreme Vehicle Battery Technologies Corp. How are you doing today, Bryson? Well, very good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Very excited to learn more about yourself and your company. And why don't we get started by you telling me a little bit about the ACDC systems, which are advanced, and how advanced are we talking the ACDC, our technology uses AI integrated battery management software. So our, our AI integration is, is head and shoulders light years ahead of anybody else's as far as control and access to ESS solutions. Wow, that's impressive. And blockchain ACDC expected this year. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Uh, absolutely. I think, I think as everybody looks at electric vehicles and the adoption of such, uh, we're starting to come to realize uh, as a society that there's no real infrastructure in place or, and very few companies that are, that are able to access or install that infrastructure. And that was one of the biggest things that we focused on as a company was infrastructure and what's required in order to meet the coming needs. So our, our, AI integration is primarily a battery management solution, but conversely, it allows smart grid integration, allows two-way communication with the grid. And it's important that everybody understands that as, as we move forward with this solution, you need two-way integration. You need to be able to communicate with the grid and the grid needs to be able to communicate with you. The reason we brought in blockchain and blockchain is vital is because that's a transaction. If you fill up your ESS solution at midnight or first thing in the morning when power is at its absolute cheapest and the grid accesses your ESS for drawdown power when it needs it to prevent brownouts or blackouts in the middle of the day or at the most expensive time of day, there's a transaction there. There's, there's, a, there's an arbitrage, there's a transaction, there's a monetary exchange uh, of a credit and that has to be tracked. When you consider that across you know, hundreds of millions of homes, and you know, hundreds of transactions a day, the only system robust enough to manage that is a blockchain solution, is, is, is blockchain. So we've integrated blockchain into all of our technology from the beginning. We've, we've had this vision of where we're going and I'm pleased to report that we're on track. We're, we're, we're basically, from my perspective, right in the sweet spot of our business plan and delivering these ESS solutions, delivering our products and having that blockchain backbone in order to manage those transactions in the most secure manner possible, it gives our, our products and our technology an absolute leg up against our competition. Wow, that's really impressive. Electric vehicles, AI technologies, and blockchain. You're talking about some of the hottest sectors in the world all combined into one. So let's talk a little bit about BMS, patented battery management systems. How does that work with ACDC? So a BMS, typically right now, every battery in the world has a BMS. It has a battery, battery management system, but they're not robust. They're not, they're not ready for where we are today. And they're certainly not ready for where we're gonna be in five years. Um, our system is ready for today, but it's scalable right up to 10 years out as far as, as, far as our, our research shows. Um, and having an AI integrated BMS just means that we have remote maintenance, remote monitoring, 
Uh, we can balance the batteries remotely. We can reroute around problems remotely. So if you're in a remote community and your ESS solution, when some of these communities rely exclusively on, on these solutions, if you want to get away from diesel and you want to go to wind and solar and we install an ESS solution and there's a problem, we don't have to send technicians or you don't have to pay to have technicians helicoptered up. We can fix those solution, uh, fix those issues remotely in, in, in most circumstances. Uh, if there's a problem that needs a replacement, we can reroute around so you continue to get the homogenized power you need and we can schedule a replacement part for when it's convenient when something else is going up there. So really it's, it's the backbone of where this industry is going and, and it, has to, it has to be done. Uh, you know, people put these things off, but we're well ahead of the curve on this. So you guys are also offering multiple product offerings. Can you touch a little bit on that? Absolutely. Uh, all our products, when you look at the basis of them, they're all essentially various versions and incarnations of uh, an energy storage solution tied with something else. They're all designed and, and thought, the thought process is for integration into the, the network, for integration into the infrastructure, and to be the primary supplier of that infrastructure. So initially we came out with a small smart wall series, which is a home-based battery system, multiple ports of entry. You can, you can run solar into it. You can run wind into it. If you're next to a river and you put a river generator in, you can run a river generator into it and it will store that power for when you need it. So it homogenizes power in your home. It gives you the access and the, and the control to use the grid when you choose or not. It's, uh, it's stackable, so you can bring in 10 of them. Uh, you know, you could bring in more than 10, but it wouldn't be worth it. We, it would be better for us to give you a Titan at that point, which is the next one. The Titan is an industrial grade grid integration, uh, typically a container sized battery in, in for, for wind farms, solar farms, grid homogenization. Um, if you look at England as an example, they've announced that they want to go full green and put in wind farms and tidal farms and, and all these power generations. Well, when you see a wind farm or a solar farm or a tidal farm, <clears throat> attached to that that you don't see is an ESS solution. There's always, there's, ordinary, there's always a system of storage in the background that most people don't realize is there. And it has to be there because wind is in, intermittent. And when wind is blowing hard, as an example, the grid can't take that kind of output from a wind turbine. So it goes into an ESS solution and then it's, it's sent out in an appropriate amount that the grid can control and, and, and have. So that's what our Titan series meets. And, and we're in latter stage discussions right now and working through, it's a very technical system. So it requires engineering and um, we're working through those with, with a number of interested parties. Uh, the smart wall, we should see our first shipment of that product into North America by the end of July. Wow. Initially, uh, most of those are allocated for distribution centers and retail locations. So you, you can go and look at them, touch them. Um, we also came out with the RV Freedom battery, which, which has had a huge Huge success. It's 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 unbelievable the number of people that want it. It's it's not just for RVs, but that's where we're targeting it. But you can use it for any sort of you know remote instant battery usage. Um, and those the first we took for the first delivery of those the full production of those has already been shipped and all of those went for stress testing so that they can get the highest designation. Uh, the final product that we've we've released recently. Uh, news release that we've done deals on is the smart charging stations, which are, a, which are a direct addition to the EV stuff. Smart charging stations are, are an interesting, uh, interesting niche in that in order to install a, a charging station, you have to upgrade your line from the grid because it's got such big draw. And the, the faster it charges, the bigger the line you have to pay for. So some of those you're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in improvements to your electrical requirements. Our solution has an ESS attached to it, which takes a lot of that expense out because you've got technically you have two sources of power. You've got the battery and the grid. You can install a smart charging station at a fraction of the cost. 
Plus so, it allows you to peak shave, which is a huge bonus, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is one of the hottest sectors right now. Obviously Tesla has been a huge success. The EV battery market is advancing very, very quickly. How do you see the EV and the battery market advancing in the future? The whole world is going here. You know, you, you look at, uh, I'll use Ford as a perfect example of where we're going. You have the government, in, in, in this case, let's talk about California. You have California who's demanding smart, full smart grid integration. And most people don't realize that's right to the level of the electric vehicle that's parked in your garage. The state of California is demanding access to that vehicle to prevent brownouts. So if your car's parked in your garage and charging and they have a massive power draw and they need power, they want to be able to communicate with your car and have it release power to the grid. It's essentially a giant battery. Where we come in in that front is our smart storage, our smart charging, and, and our smart batteries are all two-way communication already. So that's already done, whereas nobody else is. So as Ford has just released their Lightning, one of their cell, cell features on the Lightning is you can power your house in a, brown, in a, in a blackout from your Ford truck, which is, which is absolutely phenomenal. And, and you know, good afford to put a positive spin on, spin on something they had to do, but it's, it's where the market is going. Everybody's gonna have this, but where nobody's considering is the infrastructure side, which is what we cover. We cover the infrastructure side. So great, Ford, Ford is giving you access to that car, but you need an AI integrated battery management system in order to draw the power out of the car, put the power back in the car and manage when and how you deliver power to that system. Do you want to charge your car in the middle of the day? No, I want, I want my AI to choose the cheapest time of day. The grid wants to take power from my car. Okay, well, I charged my car at one cent per, per watt. And right now the, the grid is paying four cents per watt. Well, there's a transaction there. How am I keeping track of that? That's where our blockchain comes in. We've bundled all of this together to the point where it's easy for the consumer. It's absolutely 100% in their control. They can see it on their phone and nobody else has done that. Here at Rich TV Live, we've got investors all over the world. They're going to see this interview. They're going to be learning about the company. It's extremely important for us to understand the share structure. Can you break down a little bit about the share structure and how you plan to attract institutional as well as retail investors? Absolutely. Um, currently, we have a large share position and it, it is a question that comes up. Uh, why is your share position so large? And my answer is the same. I, I am not, uh, I'm a bit contrarian from a North American perspective in that I prefer large share counts. A large share count gives a proper valuation of a company. It gives the appropriate amount of liquidity so that if you buy your shares and you need to sell, you can get out. If you want to buy more shares, you can buy in. We, and as a perfect example of having a large share count and how it benefits the shareholders in the company is, EV was picked up by an ETF. And the whole reason they picked us up is they can get in and out of the stock when they want. They're, there's enough liquidity in the stock and there's enough of a proper valuation of the stock that they see it as a smart investment. It's in the industry they want, but what a lot of people don't realize is that institutions and, and funds, they have an absolute ironclad uh, rule about how much they can buy based on liquidity. And usually it comes down to a math equation of, listen, you have to be out of a stock in four or five days. So if you can't sell a stock within four or five days, you can't buy that stock, full stop. If you can only sell a million shares in four or five days, then all you can buy is a million shares. And that's, that's, a, that's a philosophy that, that follows through on all the funds and all the institutional buyers. But you know, from a retail perspective, a retail investor can look at the stock and they can look at what it's traded at over weeks and months and they can make an educated decision because they see the liquidity is there. They see the valuation is true and honest and they know that with the share count that's out there for an institution to get managerial or board control, they would have to buy an insane amount of stock. So it's just a safer investment for, for retail and it's a better investment for institutions. What sets ACDC tech apart from existing technologies? Existing technologies meet today's requirements. Simple as that. If, if you have a battery system, it meets today's requirements. Our, our systems 
are designed around 5, 10, 15 years out. Uh, a perfect example of that would be um, large grid level integration of container size batteries, our Titan series. Our AI integrated, <coughs> excuse me, our AI integrated battery management system will allow daisy chain or grouping of 50 of those containers. The next nearest competitor can only do 10. Wow. And it's, it's a significant difference and it, it indicates the level of technology required to manage that many systems is already set up in our system. Plus we have the two-way communication. We have remote management, remote maintenance, remote monitoring, and nobody else is really doing that. Not yet. They, they, they see they need to develop it, but they haven't developed it yet. And from our, from our perspective and, and in all honesty, I think that once it's become known what we have and we clearly demonstrate what we have developed, I think it'll probably be easier for one of the larger Panasonics or whomever to just come in and, and take, take that over. Wow. Like we don't, we don't produce batteries. We produce battery systems. So, you know, we get, we get actual cells from some of the best battery manufacturers in the world, depending, depending on what the, what the engineers require. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders or potential investors to know about ACDC today, what would it be? Um, you know what? I think, I think the one thing that I would like to leave with people is, is we've been at this a long time. Uh, you know, I know from a public company perspective, it looks like a couple of years, but there was years of work in the background. We decided to go public when, when it was appropriate based on the development of the technology and the uh, issuance of patents and products. I think that, that what I'd like shareholders to know is that we have given, and I have given, an, an inordinate amount of research into where the market's going. I've read papers, I've read you know, government statements, and we have positioned this company to be the infrastructure and the ESS provider for where the market is going. We're not jumping into supply today stuff. Uh, we're doing it in a cost-effective way so that we're competitive with today's prices. But our sell feature, our main sell feature when we're talking to people is, listen, you put these systems in, 10 years out, when it, when it goes full two-way communication, it's, it's on. It's done. You don't have to spend more money. You don't have to upgrade your, you know, you don't have to tear all your power out and put in new boxes. It's all ready to go. And, you know, that's, that's the thing that, that I want to leave with investors is this is a business. This is a long-term business. We're building a company. That's great. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for your time today. Bryson Goodwin, the CEO of ACDC. If you guys like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we discuss or talk about here on the show. Now, in saying that, this is a small cap company that I believe can be considered very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed based on your technology. You guys are in some of the hottest sectors in the world, all combined into one. I think it's a very interesting company. I know our community has been investing and trading ACDC a lot. So thank you for that. And if you guys are not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Put ACDC on your watch list, put it on your radar. I think it has incredible future and incredible potential. Thank you for your time, Bryson. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. And thank you for watching everybody. Have a nice day. We'll see you soon.